the star field and the nebula and all that, that's that's actual that's actual. In other words, so if I go into the map here, uh, to the galaxy map, what we see uh, are are those actual nebulas, and they're not just like a static, uh, you know, kind of painted background. So that is really neat. Really love it. Uh, all right. So yeah, our first time into space. Welcome to space, everybody, where no one can hear you scream. Welcome back, everybody, to Imperial Galactic Survival. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is Alpha 12.1, and uh, we just took down a, whoops, a troop transport. We were shooting up some drones uh, doing the uh, another round of the uh, Wildlife Cam quest. And uh, so it sent a troop transport after us. And so we kind of followed it back and shot it out of the sky, and we got... Um, a minigun and we got another tech 2 shotgun which i'm going to sell because i already have a tech 2 shotgun i may ha hang on to that back as a backup but i don't like the minigun unless they improved it since alpha 11 i tried it out in alpha 11 and i was not uh, too impressed with it but we can sell the damn thing and uh, probably make some pretty decent bank off of it maybe i don't know we'll see um anyway i just um haven't really done a whole lot since i left you in the last episode as mentioned i went back to the uh, Polaris trading station and I bought uh, 10 drill charges and five multi charges and I had to put uh, the the drill charges in here in order to be able to pick up the the chain gun in fact let's put that in there too um and then we went back to this um, silicon deposit here and mined up uh, some more silicon but it, it you know it was like 91 below zero so I just had such a hard time you know, being able to stay out long enough to get, or that I decided to, uh, to, to you know, to to wrap that up uh, quickly. And uh, but we did get, you know, we did get 29 ore. So I mean, it's not as much as I would have liked, but until we get that EVA boost, it's just really hard to do anything on this planet. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go back home and drop all this stuff off. And I'm thinking about making a couple more modifications uh, to the the wyvern here. And um, it kind of depends, though, too, on where we're at with CPU. So we have we don't ha we have a little bit of CPU left. Uh, what I'm thinking about doing is I'd like to have one uh, rear thrust so we can go in reverse if for no other reason, you know, because we get stuck a lot. Uh, in fact, here let's go ahead and take off, and I can talk about this on the way back. And I'd like to. If, if we I don't think we could pull it off but if we could get if we could get some um, lateral thrusters on here that would be great I don't think we have, we don't really need down thrust and then I, I want to probably take the two thrusters on the back and move them out to the edges of the I guess you would you know the, the pontoon thing of doodles I don't know exactly what you would call those the the fuselage things uh, and get those out further towards the, you know, the the end of the ship. And that should give us a little bit better turning. Because our turning is terrible right now. I mean, it's just really bad. Now, I understand what the purpose of this ship is. It's supposed to be more of a fixed-wing glider kind of idea. Totally get that. But, you know, we're, we need to make it work for, for what we need it t to do. And we need it to be more like a normal small vessel for now. It is only a temporary vessel too of course we're not going to keep it for the long term so i'm going to probably do all that off camera and then when i get it to the way that i want it to be you know then i'll bring you guys back at that point and uh you know show you what i did and then we're gonna head on up into space okay so i'll be back in just a bit all right guys we just got the message that the xerax are attacking our base um so and i've got this the glitch where we fall through the world too which is not good oh man how am i going to deal with that here let's see if we can yeah get past it i want to get airborne okay so let's get up in the air here our guns are are full but we don't have um any spare ammo Okay, do we know where they're coming from? They're coming from the south. 
All right, so yeah, from this direction. So let's uh, let's just kind of watch the show here and see uh, see what happens. Okay, so our cannons and mini guns are going to work on them. Oh, that guy's shooting at us. Need to get turned around so we can see what's going on here. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that was pretty short lived. All right, nice. So we didn't get a, a troop transport come in. Uh, oh, we gotta. We need to be careful in these trees. I don't. I don't want to get stuck here. Uh, that yeah, that was uh, almost anticlimactic actually, but I'm not complaining. We do not want these guys messing our base up right at this point in time. Well, actually, not at any point in time, but de definitely not at this point in time. Here, let's put this down. And I actually need to do a little bit of repairing anyways. So now that I think about thinking about it, let's just do it. Um, can I use the drone to loot these? I can't remember. Oh, I sure can. Look at that. Yeah, right there. Okay, nice. We got some more cobalt. Okay, so we successfully survived our first drone attack. Or, I'm sorry, we successfully survived our first Xerax attack. But they were drones too, so same thing. And... Uh, oh. I thought I saw something flying in the air. No. And uh, it was <laughs> actually it wasn't. It was really almost no contest. But I don't. I'm not sure if they got any shots off on our base or not. I thought I might have heard a, a rocket touchdown, but I, I I'm not sure. So we need to just check the cannons, make sure. They're okay, and they don't need to be repaired, or if they do, then we'll repair them, of course. But overall, yeah, we, we pretty much kicked the shit out of them. And uh, that's good. Okay, so um, I will be back in uh, just a little bit with hopefully a few upgrades to the ship, and then we're going to go off into space. Okay, guys, we are back and uh, ready to go. So um, I only had enough materials to make two small thrusters for now, but... I think uh, it, it definitely is going to improve the situation. So what what you can see is that I moved the two medium thrusters uh, out uh, to the outer edge of the the little pontoon thingamadoodles there. I put a, a scanner uh, or a detector in this place of where the uh, those uh, thrusters were, and then I have one down thruster and I have one back thruster. Okay, so now we have we have some lift. It's not. Uh, it's not uh, super good, but I mean, it's it's some lift, and we can go backwards, which is going to be uh, huge, you know, for maneuvering. The ship actually already has two lateral thrusters on it, too, I guess. Uh, earlier I was thinking it didn't, but it does. And um, the most important thing, though, is it's, it handles quite a bit better now. Look at, see how it turns a little better? Rolling's just a, just a, t a, a touch better, too. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a a significant improvement in the handling of this vessel just by you know moving those thrusters out to the end. Here, let's get out a little bit further, uh, like we did there. So um, you know, certainly not perfect, but better than it was. Better than it was. And you know, again, like I said, I know I know that the original design of the ship, it's meant to be more of a fixed wing glider. Um, and I, I, t I totally get that, but we just, we needed to modify it to work for our, where, where we are now. Um, so we're good to go. So I think we're ready to go up into space. So we have food, we've got oxygen. Of course, we don't have, we, we can't like do any major space walking, but, uh, cause we don't have the EVA boost yet, but we should be able to get up into space and hopefully find that. Uh, Polaris station and the EVA boost that we really desperately need and here we go our very first time in space in this Alpha 12 series and that it, it is awesome so one of the things that they you know they changed here in Alpha 12 
is that the star field and the nebula and all that, that's that's actual that's actual. In other words, so if I go into the map here, uh, to the galaxy map, what we see uh, are are those actual nebulas, and they're not just like a static, uh, you know, kind of painted background. So that is really neat. Really love it. Uh, all right, so yeah, our first time into space. Welcome to space, everybody, where no one can hear you scream. <laughs> uh, so what we have to do is we have to use our scanner here and find the Polaris Orbital Trading Station. My goodness, that was easy. And it looks like we might have found an, uh, a roid, too. And uh, if that's a cobalt roid, oh, and a promo promethium roid, we could be in business, guys, but here again, we cannot spacewalk until we get an EVA boost because it is 169 degrees up here, so uh, minus, minus 169 degrees, I should say. All right, this is cool. I, I just, I love that uh, point in time in Empyrean when you finally make it to space for the first time, you know? Um, so let's hit the orbital trading station, and I also want to see what this asteroid is down here. Because if we can find a Promethium and a Cobalt asteroid, that's really going to help us uh, advance, significantly advance. This thing, whatever it is, is closer, so let's get within three kilometers and we'll ping it again just so we see what it is. We're not going, going you know, we're not looking for trouble right now, though. What? Is that just a drone? It's a level two something something. I think it's just a drone. Oh, that's kilometers. I'm sorry. I was thinking... I, th I was thinking I was in 300 meters of it. But I think that's... Whatever it is, it's moving. But, you know, we can't take... We can't take any significant hits in this vessel. It's, uh... It's very much a glass cannon. So is that thing moving or not? It's moving really slowly. I think it might be like a... It's a defense station. Oh, Xerox defense station. Okay, let's go the other way. Quickly. <laughs> you know, something's just... Oh, shit! Not good, not good. Uh, evasive action, evasive action. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Um, okay, I think, I think we're okay. Something just occurred to me. I thought that scanner was pretty damn cool. Down on the planet. Now I think it is absolute rock star because now, guys, we can find the asteroids in orbit. Oh, man. That hadn't even occurred to me until just now. Oh, that's awesome. That makes me happy. That makes me happy. Okay, did we... We didn't take any hits, did we, from that? Uh, let's take a look. Uh, where is our... Where's the thing that shows our damage? I thought we had a thing that showed us, you know, our whole, our whole percentage. Shield, power, ammunition, fuel, pentaxid. Statistics. Is this it? Hmm. All right. I might, uh, I might be confused about something. I'm not sure. Anyway, okay, whatever. Um... And see, here's the other thing that's cool about Alpha 12. We can see our bookmarks down on the planet. That is fantastic. No longer trying to figure out, okay, where exactly is my base when I'm, you know, when we're going to land? All right, cool. So we need to, um, I wanted to see what those, uh, those asteroids are. But you know what? They're not going anywhere. So let's get to the space station first. Uh, because we have got to find... We've got to get an EVA boost. We just, we need it for space and we need it for the ice planet. Until we get that, we are so limited in what we're able to do. Slow down. <laughs> Yowzers. Yeah, I, I, we can't, oh, by the way, I was going to tell you, show you this too. We have, we still have a little bit of CPU to play with. So as soon as I have the materials, I'm going to put a few more thrusters on this thing. I want to put two reverse thrusters and two lift thrusters on it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Um, okay. 
We should probably think about putting a down thruster on it too, especially for space. Don't need it so much on the planet, but we could definitely use it here. All right. Um. I guess that's about as good as it's probably going to get. Because if we just cut our engines... Well, no, there is a gravity thing on here, isn't there? No, I guess that doesn't matter. Okay. All right, guys. So, um, yeah, it's uh, minus 169 out. And so we have to get out of here and get in ASAP. We only have a couple of seconds before we start getting colder than absolute hell. Let's take a couple of these to get our body temperature up a little more. Okay, and here we go. Um, we want to go here, and we are we're in Hangar B, just so we know for next time. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. <sighs> Whew, okay. All right. Um, we are looking for. Uh, what's down here? Yeah, I don't. I don't think we're gonna find anything down here. This is like the engineering section. So yeah, let's go up. getting all crooked here come on here, let's press O so we're straight there we go there we go okay we'll turn our jetpack off so we can walk the tired spaceman <laughs> the tired spaceman okay so vendor burgers and fries conference room isn't there a guy in here that sells stuff? Uh-huh. There is. All right. He does not have an EVA boost. Does he have a T2 multi-tool? Because I would probably, if we have the money, we could spring for it. Oh, he's got upgrade kits, too. Look at that. A rifle upgrade kit that would set us back 4,000 coin. That's pretty expensive for us right here and now. Uh, but we'll keep that in mind. We will definitely keep that in mind. So no EVA boost on him. But we have we have other options here. And I'm not talking about burgers and fries, guy. The sushi bar. That's the medical. Okay, let's go up to the next level. Christmas time. Look at that. It's Christmas time. The Polaris celebrate Christmas year round. All right, Mr. Mining Corp. Mr. M.A. Mining Corp. Do you have an EVA boost? <laughs> you do, and guess what? We can afford it. We can't afford it. No. I was looking at the sale price. <laughs> All right, do you have any gold? Oh, he's got gold. Okay. I think we only need one ingot to make an EVA boost, right? Am I right? I'm pretty sure, um, does it, we have, we don't really have any way of telling from here. I'm pretty damn sure it only takes one gold ingot. So we're gonna buy that. Because that's only 245 coin. And then we'll just go home and make our own EVA boost rather than paying 5,810. You know what, though? Um, there's a couple. I think there's one or two more vendors that might have one. So before we. I mean, it still makes more sense for us to, to just buy the gold ingot and go home and make it. 
it's a little extra you know running around for us but that's the, by far the more economical thing to do so while we're here let's take a hit of o2 flavored oxygen snowy mountaintop care bear tears um you know what i uh i've had just about enough of snowy mountaintops let's go for care bear tears right that was delicious Okay, so we got one or two more vendors up here, as I recall. We got the hardware dude. Quantum Star, is that new? Sort of scanner. I take one kiss. Oh, look at that. So he actually he sells all of the optronic thingamadoodles. Okay, that's good to know. That is very good to know. Sky Guys Bar, uh, you're the totally overpowered guy, right? Yeah. Uh, you do have an inventory, but yeah, you don't have what we're looking for. Uh, let's go over here. What did this guy have again? I I just drew. Oh yeah, he, that's right. He's the one that sells the Matrix thing, Madoodles. Oh, okay, it's getting late. I can't think anymore. All right, uh, let's check you. All right, you have an EVA boost. Yours is actually more expensive than the other dudes. What the hell, man? Okay. Oh man, look at that. He's got medium armor, but ooh, lord, that's expensive. That's way beyond our means at the moment. This, however, is not. Look at that. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to buy this, and then we're going to buy that gold ingot, because I'm 95% sure. Well, 94.7638% sure that all we need is one gold ing ingot to make the EVA boost. Okay? If I'm wrong, then I guess we'll be farming up... Um, you know the 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 um the radiant quests until we get money back again but i'm pretty sure that we're good to go okay let's go back down here and we're gonna buy that gold ingot from uh from this guy over here mining corp dude and i think we're i think we're gonna have our eva boost you guys I think we are. Okay, is there anything else we need to do up here for the moment? I don't think so. We got we got all stocked up on Care Bear tier oxygen. Can we use this? If I, when I went to that station several episodes ago, it said I needed a code to use it. If I teleport down there right now and we need a code to get back up here, we are S C R E W E D in capital letters. So we're not going to do it. <laughs> we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Okay. Let's head on back home. Get that EVA boost made, and then we are going to be in super good shape. And hey, look at that. We've got ourselves a T2 multi-tool. How about that? Does it come loaded? Oh, man, you cheap son of a... <laughs> he could have at least given us a cartridge to go with it. Uh, that's all right. Okay. On the way back... Let's uh, see if we can find some some asteroids that we can come back up and mine later so i'm assuming that the white things are potentially asteroids so we just need to make sure we don't get close to anything nasty in the process so those two red things are a lot further away than this green thing or i'm sorry this white thing right here Okay, that is definitely a roid. What kind of a roid is it? Oh, look at that, guys. We have ourselves a source of promo. Oh, man, that's a beautiful sight. 
Okay, so we can also find ourselves a cobalt asteroid. We will be in Fat City. Okay. Uh, there we go. Promethium asteroid. Let's actually bookmark it too. I think it'll stay up on the map when we come back up, but I'm not 100% positive, so let's just bookmark it. And that way we're covered no matter what. Okay, let's look around here. So we've got another asteroid or something over here. I just hope that it's not close to something nasty. Okay, let's drift and save some fuel here. Oh man, I love this scanner. Uh, like I said, I mean, it didn't even occur to me how useful it's going to be in orbit. It, it's definitely useful on the planet too, but this is like awesome. This is fan freaking tastic, man. I wonder what that thing is off to the left. I don't remember how close we were to that defense station that started firing on us. Mission privacy matters is play. Okay, yeah, good. Okay, let's uh, turn the drift off so we can take evasive action quickly if we need to. I'm trying to avoid the the red thing on the left as much as possible. Okay, that is a, that's a roid. It looks like it might be another Prometheum roid, but I'm not sure until we get closer. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't mind finding a copper, iron, and... It's a cobalt! <laughs> oh, yeah, baby! This is a good day. This is a good day. Can we get close enough to it without taking fire from something that wants to kill us? So this is another Polaris... Uh, something or other. Is it a ship or a station? But it does it does look like we can get to that cobalt asteroid without getting fired on by something else, so that's good. Just curious what this is. Top distillery. <laughs> okay, that we're going to need for uh, totally overpowered. It's interesting that it's in space. That's usually on a lava planet, or at least it was in the past. All right, so we found a cobalt asteroid, and we found uh, a Prometheum, the two things we really, really needed to find. So that is fantastic. Those little red dots are either like freighter ships or drones. Okay, well, let's head on home and make ourselves an EVA boost. And look at that, we can see our bookmarks. You know, this planet would be pretty difficult actually to, to you know, study landmarks and learn them just because it's just kind of white and there's not a ton of features on them. I mean, we could still probably figure it out, but we don't have to now that we can see our waypoints from, from space. I love it. Some really nice improvements here in Alpha 12. There we go. We can see the Prometheum asteroid bookmark right through the planet. That's interesting. I'm sure we can probably, you know, turn that stuff off. Okay, cool. We can just park right here because now we can back up. It's uh, 10 degrees outside, so not bad. We'll just keep this thing running to keep the cockpit warm. We will stick our thing of gold in here. And we should be able to make an EVA booster. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. 
Guys, this is a huge game changer for us on this planet and, of course, in space. Um, cold protection 190. I'm assuming that means it'll protect us up to minus 190. Because, I mean, space is, you know, minus 160 something, right? Oh, man. All right. Now we can actually start doing stuff and not have to fight the cold every step of the way like we've been having to do. That makes me one hell of a happy old guy. Yes, it does. There you are. Okay. There you are, my love. Been waiting for you forever. And boom. Oh, wow. We, we're protected to minus 301 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> oh, man. Cold on this planet? All I, I have one thing to tell you, and that is you can suck it. Because <laughs> we no longer have to worry about the cold. All right. Happy dance. Happy dance. Happy dance. I remember we, I remember we did a happy dance on, uh, <laughs> on Project Eden on the dead planet when we finally got I, I i don't know if it was an eva boost that we found or we found a, he, a set of heavy armor but whatever it was it made us completely immune to the cold oh this is beautiful you guys this is beautiful we can be out and we don't have to worry about the cold screw you cold screw you <laughs> all right awesome um we can even we can even power these things down now too because we don't need to keep the the cockpit um, warm anymore so we'll save on fuel it's a beautiful thing okay guys well that is it for this episode uh, like i said next episode we are gonna go back up into space and we're gonna mine some promethium and we're gonna mine some cobalt that is the plan stan uh in between now and then i'm just gonna do some more stuff off camera uh gonna we need to go do some hunting and um I might actually just do that again in the hover vessel. It's just a little easier to do in the hover vessel. Uh, but anyway, we'll do some more hunting so we can, you know, get our food stocked back up. And um, then we'll go into space the next episode and get some, some awesome minerals. Thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. This was a very important episode for us. And um, we will catch you in the next episode. See ya.